Hello everyone, my name is Sumi from ERP Hub, and today I'll be showing you something that's really valuable for your business, and that is how to automate a welcome email or a new lead email when someone enters into your CRM system. It's a really cool feature of Zoho CRM, and it's quite simple to set up, but not a lot of people know how to do it. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the setup and how to go through with that and best practices to keep in mind when building an email notification. Before we cover the integrations within CRM, we'll discuss creating workflows. Workflow rules are a set of actions that are executed when certain specified conditions are met. These rules automate the process of sending email notifications, assigning tasks, and updating certain fields of a record when a rule is triggered. The important thing to know is that they're essentially if-then statements. If this action occurs, then do this other action. We'll go through how to set up one of these right now as an example. Under automation, click on workflow rules. On the top right, you can click on this blue button to create a new rule. And similar to the email templates, these rules are specific to one module. The module you choose is where this triggers. So if I wanted something to happen when a new deal state changes, then I would need to select the deals as my module. You can start off by naming your rule and then you can click on next. Once you click on next, the first thing you need to do is define the if part of your statement. So here you have three options. The first one is on a record action. You can trigger based on a record action and these include when a new record is created or edited or even deleted. And you can say something like when a deal stage goes to closed and the amount is over, 50,000, then do this action. You can also set up workflows to be on date and time. So based on my closing date, when we're one day before the closing date of a deal, do this particular action. This could be used for a use case where you have a proposal sent date and three days after you want to send a reminder to follow them up with something. There's a lot of use cases that you can use this date and time workflow for. In this case, we'll go for when a new deal is created or edited and you can click on next. So in this case, we'll go when a deal is created or edited. And once you've clicked on next, you got to figure out what type of trigger you're going to use. We have to tell Zoho what our criteria is, what we're looking for the system to do once the initial condition is met. In this case, we want this to occur when the stage hits a certain point. You can click on next once you've configured this. So we want this to occur when the stage is at a certain stage. For, so for this example, we'll do qualification. Now that we've defined our if, the next step is to define our then, which means the action to trigger. You can trigger various different actions. You can do field updates, like updating the re uh, related account to which a client is associated with is commonly used. When your deal is moved to the closing stage, you may want to ensure that the contact is connected with the related account. You can also change the owner of the record and notify relevant parties, as well as add tasks and records. And you can also create custom webhooks to send data externally or create custom functions to trigger more complex actions. In this case, we'll create a task. And here you'll have a list of all the tasks that are already in your system and you can create a new task by clicking here and triggering all of the details here. So once you've done that, you can just click on continue and you'll be set up with this workflow. So when a new deal is updated or it moves to a certain stage, then it will create a task that will notify your team to create an invoice. You can create many workflows that are related to the various modules in your system and there's a lot of opportunities within the CRM to leverage workflows and reduce the time and effort you're taking to administer your CRM. So now we're on the builder page and we can start configuring the workflow how we want it to look like. More than likely your leads are coming from the web or some outside source like a web form that the new lead would fill out and that's why they'll be getting this automated email that we're setting up in our CRM system. Now since you only want this workflow to initiate when a new lead is created you're going to want to choose on a record action and on create. 
we don't want this workflow to work when a new lead is edited only or when it's created or edited. So that's why we're going to be selecting only on create. Once you do that, you can click on the next button. And the second step you should do is keep in mind the way you've set up the rule as of now, which is when a new lead is created, this will trigger for all the leads. And the next step, this is where it comes in, where you're building your conditions and your criteria and your filters. And this is how we're going to set it up. We want, for this example, to only send a welcome email to when a lead source is coming from an external referral. This is how we set it up right now. And if we wanted to add more criteria, and that could be whatever fits for your business, we can do that by clicking on this plus and adding more criteria to this, where it will only send when it follows the conditions that are set up. And once you've done that, you can click on the next button here. And the next step you're going to do is choose an email notification, which you can do by hovering over the notify and then clicking via email. And the first thing you're going to want to do is have your email notification set up and configured. Here we have email templates that are already set up in our system. If you don't have a template set up, you would have to create your own email notification. And this could include like details from your CRM, but it's important that your welcome emails have some sort of call to action that your leads can go to, or even like some sort of incentive or resource that can be used to nurture them through their customer journey. For this example, I'll be just choosing the welcome email that's already set up in our system. In another video, I explained how you can create your email templates and you can go back and refer to that. But for this video, I've already had a welcome email set up, so I'll just be using this. <clears throat> if you don't have a template built, once again, you can create that from scratch. Zoho does include many pre-built templates that can be helpful and save you a lot of time. Once again, you should have a call to action or maybe like a free resource that could, you could use to nurture them as they go through their customer journey. And once you've done that, you pretty much set up your workflow completely. Some other important features that you can include in the workflow is scheduled actions, which is setting up when your email will actually be sent when a new lead is added onto the system. So you can set up hours, days after, or even minutes, 10 minutes after a new lead is created, it will send out that welcome email. However, if you're like a high volume business that gets a lot of transactions, I would recommend just leaving this section alone. And to pretty much complete this process, you would just click on save. And whenever a new lead is created and that lead source is coming from an external referral, this will send out this welcome email to them as soon as that new lead is created. And that's pretty much how you set up a welcome email to send automatically. It can save you a lot of time and improve the efficiency of how you respond to your leads. And this will allow you to follow up with them quicker so your sales process accelerates and you're closing more deals. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel if you learn something new and want to see more of our content.